Hey, you playa, are you struggling to navigate feelings that you have for a close friend that doesn't quite like you back? On one end, you might be okay with the friendship, but on the other, you want a relationship with them. You like them and you want to be with them. So what do you do? This is a pretty common scenario for guys who are in the friend zone. There's a reluctance to let go of that person from their life, so they're willing to grasp onto anything that that person's willing to give them, even if it's not really what they want. And you might be telling yourself, yeah, I'm totally cool with it. As long as we can talk and hang out, everything's fine. But deep down, you're burying that emotional turmoil that you're going through. You have these deep feelings that you need to keep a secret. You need to hide. You need to pretend don't exist, but it's not what you want to do. I've been there before, and I can tell you that it is exhausting. You're holding on to this false hope, thinking that if you stick around long enough, suddenly their feelings are just going to magically change. They're going to turn around and look at you and go, wow, you're the guy I've been waiting for all this time. All that's going to do is lead to major disappointment. You're going to feel sad waiting for this magical moment that's not real. Not to mention the fact that you're going to miss out on tons of opportunities with different girls who you can actually date because you're so focused on just this one. I've spoken to so many guys who just are fixated on winning this one girl over. She's the only one they think about, the only one they want. And because of that, they've kind of created horse blinders for themselves where they can't see other girls that are better matches for them. And the more you put this person on a pedestal, the more unbalanced your friendship is going to be. You're going to find yourself doing little favors just to keep their attention. You're going to answer every single beck and call that they throw out there just so that they notice you. And what it's going to actually lead to is you getting more and more frustrated. On their end, they think you're just being a good and kind friend, but you're really doing it because you have ulterior motives. You're trying to win them over. And when it doesn't lead to that, you're probably going to get frustrated and take it out on them. Again, I say that because I've made all of those mistakes. There were girls that I liked in the past that I desperately wanted to like me back. So I jumped through all their hoops thinking it was going to win me points. And all it got me were comments like, Josh, you're like a brother to me. You're such a nice guy. You're the person perfect guy for some other girl. And I'm putting a major emphasis on this because I want you to identify if these are things that you do because you can't really move forward with the solution until you truly identify your problem. So if this is something that you struggle with, here are the five steps you need to take to resolve it. Number one, you're never going to move on from a girl that doesn't like you back unless you create space between the two of you. If you're constantly hanging out with her or talking to her, it's going to be harder for you to gain perspective on what you actually want to do. You're going to get swept up in the feelings and emotions of being around her, that it's going to be hard for you to say, whoa, I need to change this because I'm only digging myself deeper. Ask yourself honestly, how much of your day centers around this girl, even if it's just in your feelings thinking about her. If it's a lot, you need to cut it down by at least 90%. It's the only way you're going to really gain the perspective that you need. Number two, in order to stick to your guns here of distancing yourself from a girl that doesn't like you back, you're going to need to communicate honestly with her. You might have to say something like, listen, I really like you, but I know you don't like me back. And because of that, I don't really know if this friendship can work. So I'm going to need to take a little bit of time apart from being around you. That might be incredibly scary to do and feel super final. You're you're essentially putting a nail in the coffin of your friendship. Now, she may not want to end things. She might tell you that you guys can still be friends despite your feelings for her, but you know better. You know what you need to do here, and that's why you need to communicate effectively, honestly, and directly with her about your plan. Number three, once you set boundaries to no longer interact with a girl that doesn't like you back, it's on you to enforce them. That means avoiding situations where you might be around her and your feelings are going to intensify. That might mean taking her off of social media, blocking her, unfriending her, whatever it is you need to do to not fall back into the ways of just wanting to interact with her. Remember, you have to stay strong here if you actually want to move on from this girl. It's going to hurt. It's going to be hard. It's going to feel impossible, but you can actually do it. Number four, in order to not waste your time constantly thinking about a girl that doesn't like you back, you're going to need to reassess your priorities. That means putting yourself 
first here, focusing on your own personal growth and self-improvement. Before, when you were around this girl, you did anything you could just to keep her attention. You were willing to sacrifice parts of yourself just so that she would like you. Well, that's not gonna be the case anymore. You might wanna start hitting the gym, spending more time with friends, picking up a brand new hobby, anything that you can do to build your inner confidence. Because at the end of the day, you wanna feel proud of the person that you are, not because anyone outside accepts you, but because you know you've put in the work to be somebody great. Number five, the only way that you're ever going to get over that person that doesn't like you back is by meeting new people. That's going to mean joining different activities and clubs and groups and just overall expanding your social circle to welcome new people into your life. But most importantly, it's going to mean asking out different people and going out on dates. And you might think to yourself, well, there's no one else that I like right now. This is the only person on my mind. You are wrong. You have not met enough people. You have not put yourself out there enough to really make Make that decision until you start doing that until you start giving people more chances to get to know you better on a romantic level you're going to stay hung up on this one person trust me on this once you start to date around you're going to discover different qualities about other people that you really like and you're going to have a perspective that's not just built on one model, one person, one crush, it's gonna be based on all your different experiences with all these other people. In the end, you're sacrificing a friendship here, a friendship with someone that you have deep romantic feelings for, but they just don't feel the same way. And you're ultimately gonna walk away winning because you're gonna improve yourself as a person, you're gonna expand your social circle and your dating experience, and you're not gonna be tied down to the thought that maybe one day they're gonna change their mind. We both know that they won't, so you're gonna end up focusing on yourself and your next potential partner instead. On that note, I'll catch you next time. As always, love and peace.